Hi everybody. Uh, today I want to show you a new release board. Uh, this time it's a very very tiny one, as you can see here. Uh, but um, I hope that uh, you will uh, you will find it interesting and also you will see that um, it can help you a lot in in your projects. So basically, what we have here it's a pile of um, uh, just a fresh new baked uh, integrated synchronous switch step, step down regulators um, why i decide to to release them and to make them all available um, it's a little bit of history behind and uh, i will just keep you for one minute to explain a bit um, <clears throat> in the past uh, I was uh, forced to use some uh, industrial equipment for communication. Basically, they were some sort of network switches uh, that um, were designed, let's say, uh, at least in a very, very strange way for an industrial equipment. Uh, and uh, actually what happened uh, inside, uh, it was... Uh, standard linear regulator like this one yeah and uh, okay everything it's okay we know these were the industry standard uh, regulators but the problem was that uh, because of the space and because the maybe they didn't test it properly enough uh, the heatsink for this regulator was actually way too small to be able to dissipate all the heat. Uh, as you know, for uh, a standard linear regulator, uh, it's uh, quite uh, inefficient, yeah, because uh, all the the voltage dropped, it's basically dissipated, yeah. So you need to put a, a proper heatsink. And when we are talking about a big difference between the voltage input and the voltage output uh, something like this definitely is not enough yeah so if you have a regulator like this one yeah this is a standard 3.3 uh, volt uh, linear regulator yeah if you <clears throat> put this linear regulator with this heat sink and you power it up at let's say the standard 24 volt rail uh, things will become very funny and also very smelly very quick yeah so <clears throat> the funny part of the game was that uh, these boards were very very expensive and uh, whatever the supplier uh, said that okay we will replace them in warranties no problem at all so they start and they replace the first uh, uh, few dozens of them and uh, when we received the new boards uh, funny enough it was with the same uh, standard linear switching regulator yeah? uh, linear uh, regulator yeah? so no switching no no proper heatsink and actually it was no place for a bigger heatsink yeah so the only solution <clears throat> that um, we found uh, was to replace this uh, linear regulator with the switch mode one yeah so this is uh, the result yeah so as you can see uh, this new switch mode regulator it's the same size almost the same size as the the linear one yeah so basically <clears throat> here you have a um, direct drop-in replacement for a linear regulator like an lm705 or uh, um, lm317 uh, and so on yeah so now i know that there are already a lot of different types and models and uh, shapes on the market and uh, you might ask okay but why another one 
Uh, another one because uh, we use it and we are happy with it and we were thinking to share it with you first of all and second uh, or maybe this is the first one uh, it's bringing some uh, new features that you cannot find on the existing ones on the market yeah so first of all uh we have here uh 30 volt input capable synchronous switch step down regulator yeah so mostly of the uh, small uh, switching regulators that you will find on the market you will see that they are usually limited uh the cheap ones somewhere around 17 volt the um, expensive ones probably around 24. uh okay 24 volt it's very good very nice but it's not giving you any room for anything else yeah so uh, 30 volt it's better because you even if you are running it on a, on a 24 volt standard rail yeah <clears throat> you have enough room for over voltage capabilities and, and things like that yeah okay uh another very very important thing uh, about uh, this new module it's the fact that uh it's a it's a synchronous switch steps down regulator yeah so it's not like the ones that you can find usually on the market that are actually skip mode ones yeah so this one being synchronous it's bringing uh, some um, extra uh, capabilities yeah uh, regarding the efficiency uh, this one it's going up to 95 percent efficiency so uh, in this case we are talking about uh way less heat than in the case of a linear switching regulator yeah so basically you can run <clears throat> this switch mode regulator let's say in 3.3 uh, volt output from um, 12 or 24 volt power rail uh, up to 0, 0.6 0, 0.7 amps without any problem without using any kind of um, cooling yeah if it's in an equipment and you have also active cooling or you have uh, uh, some sort of uh, cooling system of course uh, uh, it can go uh, uh, even uh, cooler yeah now uh, <clears throat> regarding the input voltage range uh, it's going from 4.4 uh, volt uh, up to 30 volt yeah so in case of uh, uh, a 3.3 volt output uh, you can uh, have an input from 4.4 volt yeah of course if you need 5 volt output then you need to have a higher input voltage we are talking about a um, step down uh, regulator here yeah okay so um, <clears throat> let me make a, a little bit of space here yeah so uh, okay so <clears throat> the the output voltage range uh, as i said um, uh, can be set with an external resistor divider actually you can you can see it here yeah uh, for this type of module we we choose to be able to switch between 3.3 uh, volts and 5 volt yeah so with just replacing this uh, uh, resistor from the divider you can switch it between 3.3 volts and 5 volt output yeah um, <clears throat> the ic uh, can go from uh, uh, 2 volt to 24 volt output 
yeah uh, so if you if you want uh, to build your own or if you want a, a different uh, value then uh, you can contact us and we, we can talk about yeah this one basically it's designed for 3.3 and 5 volt output um, <clears throat> another uh, important thing about uh, this regulator it's the fact that it's it's um, uh, working in uh, both modes uh, in uh, pfm and pvm yeah so you have the pfm the pulse frequency modulation or the pwm the pulse width modulation yeah uh, it's uh, switching automatically between this these two modes and um, uh, it's based on on the load so when you have a light load it will stay in pfm mode uh, when uh, it's uh, the load it's increasing it's switching automatically on the on the pwm mode yeah uh this um, results in a higher efficiency over the all the load ranges yeah okay so uh, um regarding the usage of the module uh it's it's very simple uh just uh, remove your old uh, standard linear regulator and uh, insert this one in in place uh, if you have a new design uh, let me see yeah i have here a board i want to show you on a <clears throat> on a board yeah so in this case you see here we have a, a board this this is um, our uh, smart monitor here yeah, smart power monitor um on this smart power monitor here you can uh, install a linear regulator or you can install obviously the the switch mode one it's it's your option your your choice yeah as you can see on the input and on the output uh, you need to bring of course some uh, extra filtering caps yeah so as you can see this is the one with the the standard uh, linear regulator yeah and this is how it's looking with the, the switch mode regulator yeah it's very very uh, easy to to switch between them yeah uh, regarding the the availability uh, the board it's it's um it's already available for selling on tindy and also you can find uh, all the details uh, on uh, on the blog yeah on espa266 um, projects.com blog and uh, also you have the the link below yeah okay so um, i hope you enjoy it and uh, uh, see you next time